Hi everyone, welcome back to another session of Azure DevOps training. So in this session, I'm going to tell you what is the meaning of Git version control system, what is the meaning of TF VC version control system, what are the differences and which one you should use when you're creating a project, right? So these two options you would have seen uh, in your Azure DevOps environment when you actually create a project, right? That which version control system do you actually want to use, right? So Git is basically distributed version control system and TF VC is centralized. I know that you don't have any idea on like, you know, what is the meaning of distributed and what does it mean to be centralized? But don't worry about it when we actually see how both of these version control system works you will exactly understand that why git is called distributed and why tfvc is called centralized all right so let's just go ahead and get started so before i tell you about git i'm going to tell you about how tfvc works okay so tfvc is actually it stands for team foundation version control system okay and um, this is actually a centralized version control system okay so here i have like you know uh, put up a diagram just to like you know explain you that how it works so just imagine this is your repo your code repository that you have created in your azure devops or it could be anywhere else as well right so this is your code repository where you have all the code of your project and just imagine that this is one developer this is another developer and this is another developer i've just created three but there could be multiple developers working on the project right so let's say that developer number one he is working on some requirement and whatever code that he's writing he has to write that code and also because that the whole reason that we are maintaining a code repository because we want to keep a track of each and every change that everybody is doing and also like you no know, we want to maintain a single repository where we have all the code that like you know every developer has written right like the whole code of the project correct so this is the repository and this is developer number one okay so let me just open the whiteboard or i can simply use annotation so let me just Give me a second and here. Okay. So let's say, um, hold on. Okay. So let's say the, the, the meaning that it is centralized is that whenever this particular developer wants to like, you know, make some change and he wants to commit that change to this particular repository, then how will he do it? So the first step that he has to do is he has to make a connection between his local system and to this repository, okay? So he would be maintaining a connection, right? He would be creating a connection between the repository and his local system, okay? So let's just imagine that he has to make uh, like you know, some change into one file. Then he will first create a connection between his local system and to this repository. And then that particular file, whatever like, you know, file that he wants to make changes to, he will make those changes. And the moment he commit that change, that change is going to be reflected to this particular repository. Okay. And at the same time, let's say if somebody else is working on some other files, he is also going to the same, like, you know, going to do the same thing. So basically here, like, you know, once the connection is established, he is going to make some changes. Okay. He is going to make some changes to a file and then he will commit that change to the file directly onto the repo. Okay. Then the same thing this developer will also be doing. He has to make a connection between the system, between his system and the repository. And then he will be making some change to the file where he is supposed to make some changes. And then he, when he actually commits that particular code, that code is going to be reflected in the repository directly. Okay. And the same thing goes for this developer as well. Okay. Connection between the repo and the system. And then he will make some changes to a file. And then after he's done with the changes, the moment he commits, that change is going to be reflected to the repo. Okay. So you can see that like, you know, first of all, like, you know, the very first point that I want to mention is that any developer who is working on any of the files, right? They should have internet, right? Because they are like, you know, whatever changes they are making, that change is going to get committed onto the server directly, right? Because this particular repository exists on the server, correct? So you need to have an internet connection all the time, correct? So that's point number one. Point number two is that every time you're making some change to a file, you're directly committing it to the server. So that means it the, your commit is going to be slower, right? Because let's say if you are supposed to do 10 changes onto one file and you want to like, you know, do one change and then you want to, let's say like, you know, merge, then you will push that like, you know, particular, uh, you will make that commit for that one change and then another change you will do. And then again, you will make the commit for that second change to the repo, right? So that way it is slower. And then also let's just imagine if there are two developers who are working on the same file, right? Let's say this person is working on file one and this person is also working on file one. Okay. He has made some changes and this 
person has also made some changes on the same file. So if once he commits his change to the repository and this person also commits his change to the repository, once the build happens, then only they will get to know about any of the conflict, the conflict that actually uh, is there in the file, correct? So those kind of drawbacks are there when uh, you are using centralized version control system in your project, okay? But let's say, um, let's just go ahead and see how it works in Git, okay? Let's see how Git version control system works, okay? So here we have the repository, the code rep repository that is available on the server. And these are the developers who might like, you know, want to work on some changes on the files that are actually available in this particular code repo okay so now let's say this particular developer he wants to make some change to a file so what he's going to do so the first thing that he's going to do is he will create a local copy or you can say he is going to clone this particular code repository to his local system okay so when he actually clones or you can say when he actually um uh downloads the code repo that is available on the server he is going to get everything that is actually available into this repository okay and once he has downloaded or once he has cloned this repository he can uh locally like you know in the offline mode he can work on his changes he can like you know even if there are 10 20 or like you know no matter how many changes are there he can work on those changes he can test them locally and once he is comfortable with all the changes that he has done then only he can go ahead and push his code to the code repository which is available on the server okay and the same thing all the other developers would be doing all right so basically these in these kind of things none of them has to worry about that who has logged which file right so because they all all of them have their own local copy of the repository um, which is available on the server okay so this is one of the differences between the centralized and distributed system because in centralized you have to establish a connection and then you have to work on that file and you are directly committing the change to the code repository okay so whatever changes you are actually making on your local machine into that file that is going to be reflected into the code repository immediately in uh, centralized system okay but here you can make all those changes and then you can decide to push all those changes at once into the code repository on the server all right so that is one point um the other point would be let's say that like you know when you are using actually uh git or like you know distributed version control system if you are you have created one branch and if you want to like you know basically switch from one code base to another one let's say if you're working on multiple features then switching from one uh local repo to another one is like you know pretty easy but if you're working on a centralized system then you can only work on like you know on one of the like, you know, files or you can say like, you know, whatever changes you are doing, you can only uh, work on that one particular file at one time. If you want to switch to some other feature that you're working on, then you have to completely switch to the other feature and you will uh, like, you know, you will, you will basically not be able to like, you know, seamlessly switch between two particular features and then work on them. And then whenever you decide, you can like, you know, push that code to the uh, code repo on the server. So with this, I hope you have the basic understanding of how a distributed uh, version control system works and how a centralized version control system works. I know that I have not explained things very much into detail, but I just wanted to give an idea about the differences between these two version control system systems because this this is what we are going to be using in Azure DevOps when we actually go ahead with all the other features that are available in Azure DevOps, okay, uh, starting with the repos. So um, until unless you want to achieve a mastery in the differences and like, you know, how these things work exactly in detail, then I would suggest you to actually go ahead and learn more about TFVC and like, you know, actually set up a uh, project with TFVC and then set up a project with Git and then you can like, you know, basically when you work on them, you will get to know the about the differences much more, okay? what you have actually like you know you would have gained knowledge about these two uh, version controls control systems from this video you can uh explore more when you actually work on projects which are based on these two version control systems all right so that's it for now that's it for the difference and in the next session we'll start with the repos all right so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one